If you've added uh, content to your XBMC library and you want to remove an item, you may find that once you remove it, uh, it's, uh, it repopulates again the next time the system does a scan for new content. Now this is normal behaviour and I'll just go into um, an example of that. So if we have a look at our movies, um, these are just two random ones scanned in from Genesis uh, for a test. So let's say we want to get rid of that, American Sniper, we go to Manage, Remove from Library, really remove, yes. That's great, it's gone as you can see and there you go, it's also gone from the home menu. Now what happens if I initiate a, uh, a new scan, okay, update the library, so I'm just going to do that now, movies, scan for new content, and there you go, it's back again, and we can check, yep, yeah, there it is, it's back. Now like I say, this is normal behaviour, um, because the library is designed for local content, um, and it's not really designed for online content, that's more of a hack. So, because your um, local content still exists, it um, it will obviously rescan it back in again. So, let's have a look at our file manager. As an example, if we go to our add-on data and Genesis, you can see here I've got the movies and TV shows. So this is where we've got the library pointing to at this particular um, moment in time. If I look in the movies folder, you'll see that there is American Sniper and Into the Woods. So long as they exist on the on the actual system, it will it will see them and it will scan them back in every time. So you have to manually delete them. So this is one way of doing it. You can go in via File Manager. Uh, you can bring up the context menu and click on delete. Um, another option is, now this is something you've got to be very careful with if you do store local content. Um, but I'll quickly show you it anyway, because um, if you don't use local content then it's, it's not so much of a problem. So if we go into system, appearance, file lists and allow file renaming and deletion. As I say, this is uh, disabled by default because it is potentially a very dangerous function. Um, what this will do is when you actually choose to remove something from a list, so let's say for example, let's go back to our movies again. Um, let's go in there, American Sniper, we will do manage and remove from library, really remove, yes, delete these files, can't be undone, okay, so it gives you the option to physically delete the item, now if you've got um, kids or someone who's um, not that familiar with how to use XBMC and they like fiddling with the buttons, all they've got to do is press delete, accidentally click yes, and you could end up deleting you know, your whole um, local library of content, so it is potentially quite dangerous in the wrong hands. Um, but if it's local, uh, if you're not using local content, then it's not really so much of an issue, and it's an easy way to remove something from your library. So if we click yes, we can see it's not there anymore. Let's come out. Let's do another scan. We'll initiate another scan on the movies. A scan for new content. Nothing showing. It's only that movie there. Let's just double check in File Manager. So if we go to Movies, you'll see the folder's still there. Okay, but there's nothing in it. It's gone. That file is gone. If you look in that one, there's a strm file, which is basically the file that tells it to um, uh, load up the relevant add-on and, um, and navigate to the relevant uh, video. So, like I say, if that was local content, if you had, uh, uh, you know, your own uh, DVD ripped version on your system, that would have now been deleted, and you wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, that is how you remove items from the library. Thanks for watching.